In our previous lesson, we learned what is a VLAN, why do we need a VLAN, and how to configure a VLAN. We also did connection testing or link testing using ping command. And we saw that we cannot ping from one VLAN to another, which proved to us that the VLAN is equal to a subnet, a network, or a broadcast domain. In our lesson today, we'll be learning how to route between VLANs, which is also known as inter-VLAN routing. Welcome to Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention by the few, we have Cisco and Microtech series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taban Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In our lesson today, we'll be learning what we call intervillain routing. Our focus will be on implementing or configuring a router on a stick. But before we can configure a router on a stick, we first need to know what is a router on a stick and how does a router on a stick work. So, what is router on a stick? Router on a stick is a phrase referring to the connection of 802.1Q capable switch to a single router interface. Our router interface will be configured in such a way that it will have sub-interfaces or logical interfaces. And those logical interfaces will be assigned to our VLANs. Now, let's go to our topology so that I can make an example of what I mean. Okay. In our topology, if PC1, which is in VLAN 10, would like to ping PC3, which is in VLAN 20. It will do so by using the link between R1 and R2. And that link will be configured as a router on a stick. Meaning, PC1's ping message will go through router 2 and then will go with the red pipe that represent VLAN 10. And then when it gets to router 1, it will come back down with the blue pipe which represents VLAN 20 to router 2, which is configured as a switch or a bridge. And then it will go to PC3. So now that we know what is router on a stick and how does router on a stick work, it's time for us to learn how to configure router on a stick. On our practical lab test lesson today, we'll be doing the following things. Router on a stick configuration for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 assigning IP address for our VLANs and configuring DHCP server for our VLANs. For VLAN 10, we'll be using Winbox and for VLAN 20, we'll be using command line interface. Now, to configure our router on a stick, let's open our Winbox and connect. And to configure our router on a stick, we go to interfaces to open interface list GUI and on interface list GUI we have two ways to configure our router on a stick. On top menu we can click on VLANs and then we click the addition sign so that we can open new interface. Another way, let me close here, another way to do it on top menu again under interface tab we click the drop down edition arrow or drop down edition sign and then on the list of functions that open that we can configure we click on VLANs to open new interface and on new interface under general tab we have to name our VLAN and I'm going to name our VLAN ICT ICT meaning this VLAN is for ICT department. And then after naming the VLAN, we have to give it an, a VLAN ID, which is VLAN 10. And we are going 
to assign it to Ethernet 8. And then after this we are finished, we can click OK to apply our configuration. OK. And as you can see, there's our configuration under F8, meaning we have sub interface for ICT. Our second step is to configure IP address for our VLAN. So in order to configure IP address for our VLAN, we go to IP and on the menu that appears, we go to addresses and on address list GUI, we click on addition sign. On address, we have to give our IP address inside a notation. Okay, I'll give my address is 10.10.10.1 slash 24. And we are assigning it to our sub interface, which is ICT, because it's for VLAN 10. And I'll click OK to apply my configuration. Then I'll close my GUI. And last but not least, we have to configure our DHCP server for our ICT department. And to do that, we go to IP DHCP server. On our bridge and DHCP configuration lesson, we learn to configure DHCP server using the DHCP setup tab. In this lesson, we are going to learn the new way of configuring DHCP server. Instead of clicking the DHCP setup, which is easy and quick to configure, we click on Edition Sign under the DHCP tab. And under Generic tab, we have to name our DHCP server. I'm going to name it ICT underscore DHCP. And I'm going to assign it to interface. The interface that I'm assigning it is our sub interface, which is the ICT. And then that's all that I'm going to do for now. Then I'll click OK. Then I'll go to the next tab, which is Networks. Then I'll click the Edition side to open new DHCP network. And here I'm going to assign my network, which is 10.10.10.0/24. Our gateway is 10.10.10.1 and our subnet mask or our net mask is 24 which is CIDR but we can also write it as in 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
so I have to double click my configuration to open it if you remember when we started I only named and then I assigned the interface to our DHCP server and then I said that all I have to do for now so right now that we have already configured our DHCP pool I have to go to this drop down arrow and then choose the pool that we configured which is ICT pool and then click OK and then with that we are done configuring VLAN 10 all we need to do right now is to configure VLAN 20 and do our testing we said we are going to use command line interface for VLAN 20 configuration so without wasting time let me open my Oracle virtual box okay for router one and to log in the username is admin and the password is one two three four five six seven eight enter and now that we are inside our router OS the first thing that I would like to do is to verify the configuration that we did using the win box and to do that I'll start by giving the command interface VLAN print and as we can see we have ICT is the only VLAN that we configured so far and we can see it's on ETH8 now the second command that I would like to give is IP address print so that we can see the interfaces that have IP address and as we can see our ether one has 192.168.1.1 slash 24 and we have ICT which is our sub interface for VLAN 10 it has 10.10.10.1 slash 24 which is the 10.10.10.0 network okay the last command that I would like to give is IP the HCP dash server print enter and we also have the ICT DHCP is the only server that we have so now we have to do configuration for VLAN 20 and I will first start by configuring router on a stick and to do that I'll give the command interface VLAN add interface it's ether8 and then name network engineer let me make it caps lock network underscore engineer network engineers and VLAN ID 20 and then I'll press enter and then let's try our verification command again interface VLAN print and now as you can see we have two VLANs which is VLAN 10 which belongs to ICT and VLAN 20 which belongs to network engineers okay the next step i'll give an ip address to our network engineer and to do that i'll give the command ip address at address and i'll give it 10.10.20 .10 .20 1 24 and the interface will be network engineer network underscore engineer and now let me give the very the verification command ip address print enter and as you can see now we have ip address for ether1 ict and network engineers our last step is to configure the hcp server for vlan 20 and to do that i'll start by giving the command ip pool at name I'll give it n dot e which is which stands for network engineers underscore pool then ranges I'll give it 10 dot 10 dot 20 dot 2 to 10 dot 10 dot 20 dot 100 enter 
this command is used to configure the IP address that are going to be listed to our clients. My following command will be IP DHCP server add address pool and my address pool is n dot e underscore pool disabled we'll see no and interface network underscore engineers name is going to be n dot e underscore dhcp enter this command is used to configure dhcp on specified interface and also assign our pool or scope to our dhcp server okay my last command will be to configure the network and the gateway for our DHCP server. And to do that, I'll give the command IP DHCP server network add address is equal to 10.10.20.0 slash 24 gateway is equal to 10.10.20.1 enter. And with that, I'm done configuring our DHCP server for VLAN 20. And I'll give my verification command, which is IP DHCP server print enter. And as we can see, we have two DHCP servers, which is ICT DHCP server and network engineer DHCP server. And with that, we are done configuring our router one. But before we can list our IP address to our clients and also do our connection testing, I will go to router 2, which is configured as a switch or a bridge. Okay, go to my winbox. And in order to access router 2, I'm going to connect to Roman. And 192.168.1.1 will be my agent. Okay, I'll click router 2 and then click on connect so that we can access our router OS. So now that I'm inside my router OS or inside my winbox, I'll go to bridge to open my bridge GUI and on the top menu, I'll go on VLANs so that I can edit my VLANs and then I'll double click VLAN 10 on my bridge VLAN 10 GUI that's open. I want to configure my link between router 1 and router 2 as a trunk and to do that, I'm going to tag and then I'll click the down arrow and then as you can see ether1 already there it will show ether1 because it's the first port now my tag ports are ether8 and ether1 then I'll click ok to apply the configuration and I'll apply the same configuration for VLAN 20 okay down arrow ether1 okay then I'll click ok now our tag port or trunk ports are ether1 and ether8 for both VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Okay, let me close my win box. Now that I'm done configuring my router and my switches or my bridges, I'll go to my PCs. Okay, let me open PC1. Okay, and I'll give the command IP DHCP enter. Then let's see if our PC will get an IP address from one of our DHCP servers and as we can see it got an IP address of 10.10.10.100/24 which is a scope of VLAN 10 or ICT let me go to PC3 and see if PC3 will also get an IP address from VLAN 20 let me give the command IP DHCP enter and as we can see it also got an IP address from the scope of VLAN 20. I'll apply the same configuration to other PCs. Now all the PCs list their IP address from the HCP servers. I'm going to do connection test. Now from my PC2, which is 10.10.20.10, I'm going to pin my gateway, which is 10.10.20.1. Okay, let me pin my gateway and see if I can get that. And as you can see, we can reach 10.10.20.1. Okay, let me try VLAN 10 gateway, which is 10.10.10.1. Enter. And as you can see, we can also reach VLAN 10's gateway. Now, let me try a client inside the VLAN 10. Okay, I'll pin 10.10.10.10. Enter. Okay, we got a timeout. Okay, give us timeout. Let's try it again. Enter. Okay, let's go to pc1 and check the ip address again uh, pc1 the ip address is 
dot ten dot okay dot hundred not dot ten my mistake dot ten was when we ascended an aesthetic IP address the DHCP address that we got is dot hundred okay let me go back to my PC3 then ping ten dot ten dot ten dot hundred enter okay right now we can see we are able to reach our PC and with that we were able to do connection tests between the two VLANs and it was successful. So now we know that our inter-VLAN routing is successful and it works properly. Hope this video was informative and if you loved it, please share with someone who can also benefit from our video. And also please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson or a video. With that, let me love and leave you. Have a blessed day. Thank you.